All right, I'm gonna be making some end caps for the combustion chamber for KP35 using uh, dies I've made on the lathe for the front and back. And this is what I'm making here, the end caps. Uh, now this is a J50 basket, a used J50 basket, but this is uh, that inner ring there and the front. Now what I'm doing on this one is I've already made the front for the KP35. I'm working on the back side, which is uh, a lot smaller. It protects the back of the axle, the aluminum axle, from the nozzle guide vanes in the rear, all that heat. So I'm going to put a little bit of water, and actually I already did soap and water. I think that's good enough. Uh, to help it slide so it goes in place and doesn't cut the, uh, the stainless. This is a stainless sheet, by the way. 24 gauge, which is pretty thick. Uh, should hold up well and, and does, actually. Suppose I can make some centering pins for it, but I don't have them, so I just kind of, I've never had a problem with it. I just kind of tap it into place as it's going down. I'll loosen it, tap it a couple times, and then I'll carry on. Um, you know, I'll make a small indent like I did just now. Let me do a little more. And then I'll back it off, make sure it's centering, and it is. And then I'll continue. Be nice if it was hydraulic, but it, or I guess it is hydraulic. But a pressurized, automatic pressurized system would be great. I'm gonna tap it a little bit, make sure it, it's not gonna bind and rip that stainless. Because then I'll have to make it over again. That's a pain in the ass. So let's see what we have here. It wants to come apart, so that's good. So there you have it. And we have the end cap, and you'll you'll get it, and you'll you'll cut it out with gloves on. <clears throat> I should have gloves on right now, but I do not. So, so I'll take it easy. Let me throw some gloves on here. There you have it. Didn't come out very centered in here, but that's all right. You're going to cut it all out, drill a hole through the center, and tack it all together. So that's the rear side, and it will sit with an axle of a KP35. It'll sit right on there. You'll have the basket on the inside, so that'll take up some space, and uh, it'll help protect the axle. You have to have that inner basket, or you're just going to melt the axle. Um, and I'll have to make a new one. But that's it right there. So it'll actually sit between uh, this and this here. There you go. And this is what you get with the KP35 kit. You'll get the front and back. And then you'll also get pre-rolled inner and outer basket. Um, and then you have to cut them to size, you know, take a Dremel, uh, make sure you get a straight line. Use hose clamps as you're building it 
to hold it all together. For example, um, this is a pretty big hose clamp, but you'll have it on here, you'll get it to size, you'll put it on the rear, the rear, uh, where are we at here? Let me use this on here. You put it on the upper lip of that nozzle guide vane, and you'll hold it together with a clamp, and then you'll tack it. Uh, I use a spot welder, an electric spot welder, tacks it really well. Um, and then there you go. So then when you put it together, they'll have a nice tight seal. And you have to make sure you get it on there nice and tight and you don't create a lot of bubbles or, or, or lose that space because there's a very limited amount of space here for your fuel manifold line that will go on the outside of this basket. And then the shell will have to slide all over that. So that's important. This here is a KP35. And so the basket will sit around there. And now you see it's a little long. You're gonna have to cut it. And you probably, you wanna get it right below here. You see that little line on the axle? Right about in there. And you want air to be able to go on the inside. That's important to help keep your axle clean. Uh, cool and to inject some of that air on the inside of the basket. And I'll go over the baskets and how I make them and, and the theory behind them. I'm not an, a total basket expert as they are. They can get complicated and they, they're somewhat difficult. But um, there's a theory behind it. And, and basically what you're trying to do is create a flame gate on the back. You want to inject a lot of that cool air on the front of the basket and then create a flame gate around the back to help that flame stay inside the basket. And you're also injecting that cool air, which will expand on its way out. So there you have it. And this is AK-335, about to head out. And it's not bolted together, but let's see. I've got some old bearings I use for, for tuning and whatnot, but there you have it. And it does actually spin without rubbing if I hold it without gloves on just right. But that'll come together when you're when you're putting it together. As you as you start to bolt it all down, as you notice the axle is also not bolted to the back of the diffuser, so it's all Anyways. And I'm gonna do another video soon here on this J50 I ran the other day. This is a prototype model that we have here in the shop that we've been experimenting with. And we make kits, uh, we don't put them together. You know, that's for you to do. If, if I did that, it would raise the price significantly. But I will make a video dismantling it. I haven't dismantled it since I ran it the other day. So we'll get to see uh, where there's hot spots on the basket because the basket will actually turn colors. And we'll see how it, how it uh, went together and came apart. You know, there's screws that should be up here, but I only did a couple uh, because I was, it's just the prototype, it's a test. You know, I've ran multiple baskets, different configurations. Um, trying to get the best one for max efficiency and, and throttling, you know, that's important because that, that's a big part of how much air you get in there and, and the fuel to air ratio mix and you can see some discoloration on this one. Uh, right where it should be, you know, it should be right in here and these lines, these holes, excuse me, will create a, a, uh, a flame gate. You'll have to inject air into the and these should be indented, and I'll show you how I do that. The one in here has been tuned, um, so it's got a, it looks kind of ugly, but it, it actually functions the way it should. Uh, this one won't function the way it should because it doesn't have, these holes aren't indented, so they're not injecting as much air as they could be. And they're also, you, you directionalize them. You can adjust the direction of the holes, and that'll shoot uh, where you want that air, um, and that's important. If you shoot too far forward, you'll just push everything out the back and you'll have a flame coming out of the back of the engine. 
but you, it, it, there's a, uh, you have to experiment. But what I'm doing is I'm gonna get it down and I'll be able to show you guys how the ideal basket set up what you want to do with your holes so that way there's less experimenting with you and uh, more fun you know more putting it together so i think that's it for now i'll put up another video showing you all about it all right have a good day